Hi to all. Today's topic is AC generator. This is one topic in electromagnetic induction that we are going to discuss now. What is AC generator and how it will works? AC generator means alternating current generator. What is alternating current generator? Alternating current generator means it can generate the current. We know that it generates the current means we can generate the current by induction process that is electromagnetic induction. Now what is electromagnetic induction? Induction of EMFR current in a coil due to change in magnetic flux link with it. If magnetic flux or the field link with a coil changes then at that moment EMF and current induces in the coil. Then how to change the magnetic flux? How to change the magnetic field link with a coil? If a coil rotates in the magnetic field, then the flux link with the coil changes. Or otherwise, if you change the, if you rotate the magnets, then also magnetic field changes. Then here we are, this is the construction of the AC generator. It has a rectangular coil, the both ends of the rectangular coil connected to the two slip rings S1 and S2. Okay, and this rectangular coil has capital N turns and the one end is connected to, for example, this is A, B, C, D is a rectangular coil and the one end of the coil is connected to the brush slip ring S1 and the other end of the coil is connected to the slip ring S2 and that slip rings are connected to the brushes and then from the brushes we are taking the output. Then here output we will get the current. Here in the coil is rotating in between the two poles of the magnet. How the coil will rotate itself? Then we can make to rotate the coil. Then for the purpose we have to connect some turbines with this is a shaft okay rod and this shaft is connected to some turbines in hydro power stations then when water falls on the turbines then the turbine will rotate along with this this shaft will rotate for the shaft we are connecting the rectangular coil the coil also rotates when the coil rotates in between the two poles of the magnet the magnetic flux link with the coil will changes because the magnetic flux formula is B A cos theta then theta is angle between the field and the area vector theta is angle between the B bar and A bar when the coil rotates the angle between the B and A will changes when angle changes the flux changes the change in flux induces EMF in a coil let us see here the terms the num n is the number of turns in the rectangular coil omega is the angular velocity with which it is rotating right we are making it to rotate and its frequency is nu is the frequency of rotation of the coil means how many rotations it is taking per second and theta is angle between the b bar and a bar at any instant of time s1 s2 are the slip rings b1 b2 are the brushes okay right let us see here uh, at any instant of time at any instant of time t okay angle between the angle between field and area vector is theta then we write as angular displacement theta is we write as angular displacement also we can take it as the theta angular displacement is equal to angular velocity into time this we write as theta is equal to omega t this is equation 1 then according to Faraday's law what we write according to Faraday's law right according to Faraday's law For the second law that is induced EMF is equal to induced EMF is equal to negative rate of change of magnetic flux okay here we can continue on the right side it may be not appear if we will write below right what is the induced EMF induced EMF we write is induced EMF E is equal to we write as minus N D phi by DT, right? Okay. And this we write as the phi is the flux link with each turn of the coil. This we write as the flux link formula is B A cos theta. Theta. Okay. 
we know flux link with the formula that is a b bar dot a bar is nothing but b a cos theta but the theta we know already yes here we write the constants outside minus n b a into t by dt of cos theta theta we write as omega t from equation 1 right from equation 1 angular displacement is equal to velocity into time displacement is equal to velocity into time and this we write like this minus n b a differentiation of cos omega t we know that minus omega sin omega t then after that we write the equation induced emf minus into minus plus n b a omega sin omega t this is the induced emf at any instant of time t e is the induced emf induced emf at any instant at any instant of time small t that means the induced emf varies with the time it is a time dependent then what is the peak value of induced emf peak value matlab peak or maximum maximum value of induced emf Yes, how you will get the maximum value? EMF depends upon number of turns, field, area, angular velocity and this one, sine. Then if the sine omega t is 1, then induced EMF will be maximum. Induced EMF is E max we take. This is the maximum. EMF will become maximum. When sine theta value is maximum, then induced EMF is maximum. Then we write as E is equal to E max into sine omega t. No, 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 no. We shall substitute in this. What we have to substitute? Look at here. Sine omega t we write 1. And then E max is equal to we will get as this is equation 2. If sine omega then E write as E max is equal to n b o a omega this is the peak value of emf maximum value of emf okay and when you substitute this one then instantaneous emf we will get is from equation 2 we write uh, induced emf as e is equal to e max or e naught we can write in some books sin omega t This is equation 4, right? That means induced EMF varies sinusoidally. Induced EMF varies sinusoidally. Okay? Now, in this induced EMF formula we derived. Induced EMF formula we derived. If you draw the graph between the induced EMF and time, then you will get like sine graph. Then I will explain how the current will generate in this coil in this AC generator first construction and working I will tell the construction already I told I will tell the working when the coil rotates in the magnetic field right the magnetic flux link with the coil changes due to that in this uh, EMF induces let us see to know the direction of induced current we have to use the Fleming right hand rule according to the Fleming right hand rule the forefinger indicates the field thumb indicates the motion of conductor then the central finger indicates the induced current let us see here now you have to adjust the forefinger in the direction of the magnetic field central finger uh, at thumb in the direction of the motion of conductor conductor is going like this this conductor ab right then we have to adjust like this forefinger indicates the field thumb indicates the motion of conductor this is going outside right left end is going like this outside at this side it is going and the right hand is going inward right then you have to stretch like this four finger field thumb motion of conductor then central finger is upward means in this induced current is in upward direction this is the current in this when the this is this end is moving outward this end is moves inward the direction of motion is changed that's where direction of induced current also changes this is downward like this the current will generates okay and this current will be taken output and after half rotation after half rotation what happens the current direction will be changes okay right and for every half rotation the direction of the current induced current will changes that's why it is called as 
करंट जनरेटर आलटर्नेटिंग करंट जनरेटर ओके रईट अंड यू टेक् द स्क्रीनशाट and note every point and this is very important topic and one previously it came for the five marks also right and this is very important and it will be come for the three marks or the five marks in the board exam okay right and based on this the problem also very important it was very easy concept okay take the screenshot and note it and i will draw one graph between the induced emf and time okay Okay, let us see the graph between the E and T. E T graph. That means induced EMF versus time graph. I am taking the induced EMF on y-axis, induced EMF on y-axis, and the time on x-axis. We know the equation as E is equal to E naught sine omega t or E max sine omega t. E suffix max into sine omega t. right when time zero if you substitute the time as zero then we will get induced emf also zero because it is sin zero zero then here you will get the graph like this this is the graph okay right this is the peak value of emf this is e max e max okay this is also e max e max that right? this is the e versus Time graph induced EMF and time. How it will vary? Induced EMF increases, next decreases, oppositely increases, oppositely decreases. Like this, induced EMF always varies. That's why it is called as alternating EMF. Then along with that, the current also changes the same, right? Because current equal to EMF by resistance. How EMF changes like that? Current will changes, right? In the resistor. Now the next we will go. We are going to exp. Uh, discuss i am going to explain one problem uh, based on ac generator let us see here kamla pedals a stationary cycle the pedals of cycle attached to a 100 turns coil okay actually the coil is rotating with the pedaling of cycle the coil has the number of turns 100 the solution let us discuss first we have to write the given values by reading the question and the kamla pedals the cycle okay Kam kamla pedals the cycle the pedals of cycle are attached to a coil 100 tons and the coil area is 0.10 meter square and the coil rotates at half revolution per second how many revolutions per second right that is half revolutions per second half revolutions per second number of revolutions per second is called as a frequency okay that is the frequency is half 1 by 2 hz frequency is 0.5 hz and it is placed in uniform magnetic field of induction 0.01 tesla field is 0.01 tesla perpendicular to the axis of rotation of the coil what is the maximum value of emf generated in the coil induced emf formula when it rotates in the magnetic field is right the coil is rotating in the magnetic field because of paddling of cycle right Induced EMF at any instant of time we write as N B A omega sine omega t. If you want the peak value of this is the peak value, right? And the maximum value of EMF. EMF is nothing but voltage. Maximum value of EMF or voltage. Its formula is E max is equal to. We write N B A omega. Now substitute all values in that. E max is equal to be right as N B A omega. We don't know. We write omega formula as two pi mu. Now substitute all values. N is what? N is the number of turns. Hundred. B is what? Zero point zero one is nothing but ten power minus two. N B A is what? Zero point one. Two pi into nu is what? Nu is one by two. Okay. Right. This hundred and uh, that zero point zero one will cancel, and this two two will cancel. The remaining is induced EMF peak value of induced EMF for the voltage maximum voltage generated in the coil is right. What is that? Zero point one into this. We write as pi. Pi is the three point one four. Right. 
pi value is 3.14 then finally we will get 0 0.314 volt this is the emf generated across coil when coil rotates in the magnetic field of induction 0 0.01 tesla they may ask if the coil has the resistance if the coil has the resistance uh, some 20 ohms then the what is the current generated in the coil then the current is equal to uh, emf by resistance we can write or this coil ac generator is connected across a resistor whose resistance is uh, 20 ohm then the what is the current in that then the current equal to emf by resistance effective emf by effective resistance okay thank you for watching my lectures if you have any doubt you can comment i will reply